And now our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. Now for the official introductions, here's Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, Bruce the Dragon Lee. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, Paul Bergu. You ready to fight? Ready. Go. All right, here he is, the founding father of modern MMA, Bruce Lee, ready to go for round one. The speed and the angles just absurd, and a heart got to simulate in training. You think you got a beat on him, and then you end up twitching on the canvas. So we'll see how the opponent chooses to defend Bruce Lee here in the early go. Nice counter left hook to the head. Oh, nice combination, yeah. Oh, the roundhouse kick lands. Big hook. Nice combination there. He is just killing him with volume team. Jab, right hand, body shot. I mean, kicks. What a masterful show of different techniques and ability for a combination. Edge of your seat action as expected thus far. What a fight. My goodness, what a fight. Oh, oh with authority, the body. Right, early action here, and no surprise to see an early takedown attempt. Takedown defense holds up so far. Well, in training camp, he had to have known that this would be the approach, so they have spent a ton of time defending takedowns to ensure that they're fighting in their most comfortable position. Oh, it landed. He hurt him. Oh, big knee there. the takedown, no problem. Just over three minutes to go round one. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. All right, so that opened up a cut around his eye area. He hasn't moved his head well. He was taking shots too clean, and now a cut is opened up. Oh! He's hurt bad here. You getting the limb to the target there. Lead left by Lee. Wow. All right, so now we start to see some redness underneath the elbow. You got to think he's going to continue to attack the body with all of his strength. So his opponent has not done anything to deter him. He should keep doing this, keep going to the well until his opponent finds an answer because right now he seems lost to it. Oh! Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. Just over two minutes to go in what has been a furious round one. Oh, and yet another knee finds the target. So a huge moment here. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot. That's incoming. Outstanding knee to the body there. He's the taller fighter. Might as well put that size to good use, and he certainly did so there. Oh, strong punch there by Lee. Wow, nice slip and an even better wrist. Back and forth we go. Taking a lot of body shots as well. Pretty good technique as he lands the sidekick, DC. Real nice technique to land that sidekick. He did a great job of getting that leg up and then right to the target. Lands a jab. And again, dealing with that cut around his eye. Gotta be careful. He's gotta shore up the fence. Oh! So one minute to go here in what has been a competitive and action packed first round. Huge knee lands for Clinch. 
Well, MMA is a constant exercise in risk mitigation, right? But it would seem to me that if he really goes for it offensively, he can get him out of there. Well, he's got him hurt. He's got him hurt. He's got him hurt multiple times in one round. It looks like this fight should be over by now, but his opponent's still standing, and I think that speaks to the durability of the guy standing in front of him. Craig's going for the leg. Might be a submission opportunity here. Oh, I don't know. That heel hook looks tight. Trying to set up a choke here. That dark choke is tight. Also, how about that position over submission as he bails on the side? I think that's a great job. You gotta make sure you don't end up in a worse position because you're trying to score a submission. So he's got him on a choke here. Oh, somehow, some way he got out. These guys are back and forth, but the submission defense wins this transition. Well, how's that for a five-minute performance? The round is over mercifully for his opponent. You just got to make sure you stay the course, though, at this point, I would think, right? Because you nearly got the finish, but you didn't, and the opponent figures to make some adjustments. Absolutely, and he's from a great team, John. You know that the opponent's from a great team, so they're going to tell him all the right things in between rounds. So he's got to stay the course, as you said. Be calm, be patient. Do exactly what you did prior that puts you in such a phenomenal situation going into the next round. All right, so somehow, some way, we will fight onward. There was a big liver shot there that buckled his opponent. DC, here's your replay. Nothing is worse. Nothing is worse than taking one Ready of those shots Ready. right to the liver. Good. It shuts everything down. You got to be so tough to stay standing after you take a strike like that. Oh, back to the lead left, and it's good. So now he lands another combination, so it's never just one shot. There's always two or three coming behind. A lot of times, people throw singular strikes. Not this, gentlemen. This man is stringing four, five, six in a row. What a great job. Well, it's a bloody set. Watch the team. Oh, he separates from the clinch. Clean punch. Well, not exactly what we thought we would see out of this jiu-jitsu fighter. He's had a lot of success on the feet, and I think this is why sometimes the form can lie if you lean too heavily in. Absolutely. I mean, you think you're coming in here to fight a grappler, and this guy looks like a boxer tonight. His hands have looked crispy. His kicks, everything that he is doing has worked, and I think this is partly due to the fact that you think he's trying to take him. A nice stoppage win for him here tonight. And the other side just couldn't handle the incoming assault. A flurry of punches, most of them upstairs. And when those big shots land repeatedly, the referee has no choice but to step in and call the fight. The official decision is now in. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop to this contest at 58 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by TKO, Paul Craig. All right, so Paul Craig getting it done by TKO here tonight. He was certainly confident in our fighter meeting, perhaps overconfident, but I guess now you see why. I mean, he knew or saw something in the preparation that told him 